This is Todorov's narrative theory. It is often used in soap operas and the first three stages are commonly seen in soap opera trailers. The first stage is equilibrium. The second stage is when a disturbance ruins the equilibrium. The third stage is recognition of a disturbance. Will you stop doing that? This is an open narrative. The editing style is continuous. The storyline goes on and on and on. And 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 on and on. This is props theory of characters. These characters are used throughout soap lifetimes. Yeah. These characters include the hero, the one who saves the day. The villain, the one who causes the disturbance. The princess, usually the damsel in distress. The dispatcher, who sends a hero on his journey. The false hero, a villain disguised as a hero. The donor, the one who gives an item to the hero. And the helper, usually the hero psychic. In soap operas, conventional angles are used. This is a two shot, it shows both people in the conversation. This is a mid shot to show the emotion. This is an over the shoulder shot to show the other character's reaction. And this is a close up to show the real deep emotion. Soap operas also use establishing shots, this is to set the scene. Soap opera conventional locations include pubs and cafes in order to create very similitude and realism for the audience. Artificial lighting in soap operas is used to create the right atmosphere when there isn't enough lateral lighting. High key lighting in soap operas connotes a happy atmosphere and good storylines. On the other hand, low-key lighting connotes violence or danger and is often used for more sinister themes.